very exciting, enormously colorful, almost every moment of the 60s. It was just incredible. Uh, and I had the privilege of um, traveling the world. Uh, I went to uh, Vogue in 1964 and following Dick Avedon and um, my first shoot was Five Weeks in the Orient with Dick and Verushka and it was the most expensive trip Vogue ever did and they never did one quite that expensive again but it was an experience that started um, a real snowball of excitement. Uh, from from there, it just went to David Bailey in Ireland, Scotland, London, uh, working with the Stones, working with um, Marianne Faithful. There was a lot of wildness, but for me, it was so exciting. Magazines were more um, sedate and more and stiffer, and photography was uh, there was much less movement, and it was another time. And now what was happening was a photographer like Dick Avedon. Uh, it was learned, understood movement, and he brought that to his pictures, and that was a a breakthrough that started and has not stopped. And because of that, everything changed. I mean, you did, your hair was different, your makeup, the makeup was different, everything was getting freer. I grew in my job. I wanted those, those moments shared visually in print for our readers. That's when a model like Lauren Hutton made such a difference because she was so all-American but but special. And and that was a big change in magazines. One of the finest people I've ever known in my life. I really loved her. She was my mentor. Um, she was the warmest uh, person. If she believed in you, she pushed you. And when somebody believes in you that is that strong and becomes that much your friend, uh, and you feel that way about that person, you, you want to do your best your very best work. With Mrs. Vreeland, it was never this, no two days were alike. Uh, it was just a growing process, always. I called myself, uh, as time went on, kind of the spoiled brat of the fashion world because he, to work that much with a genius like Dick Avedon, Irving Penn, Bert Stern, um, Helmut Newton, uh, each person, each photographer so different and such an enriching moment, each one. And uh, you never came away from one day having not learned something else. Your eye opened again. Your creative juices were just uh, going and fantasy and create creativity and um, the backstage life which was my life and is my life um, was something that uh, gave me the career I ended up I ended up having <laughs> I think it's um, all about the young designers that are coming along. I think we have a responsibility uh, to follow them. Uh, I love the energy and the uh, excitement of working with uh, 
a new crowd of young people. The most important thing with fashion or any number of things, but as we're talking about fashion, is to stay inquisitive, to be hungry, to want to know more, read more, see more, do more. And that's a lot, I know, but um, there's nothing more fascinating than watching the street and doing all of those things. Woo!